every community has a claim to fame that makes it proud. The school district in New Holstein, Wisconsin chose to weave the fabric of its farming community directly into the classroom in an effort to best prepare students for life in the area after graduation. When I first arrived, I sat down with Joe, who rules the roost in the Ag Department. The program was started in 1942, so it's a fairly older program. And so there's been a lot of, we're a very agricultural area, kind of a rural area, so there's a lot of support for the program. There are nine different courses, we have a variety of animal science courses and plant science courses, as well as a wildlife natural resource course, a food science course. So we do different industry tours to show the different areas. We've gone to a mink farm and we have a hydroponic tomato and cucumber farm. Do you want to give me a little tour of the area? We have a lot of different things going on out here in the greenhouse and we've started a lot of vegetables from seed and we've got some strawberries and stuff we started from seed as well. We have a couple avocado trees that we started from the pits. Green onions and we do have a few dwarf banana trees here as well. We have done some hydroponics and aeroponics and stuff in the past as well with the school lunch program. We've done some lettuce and other herbs and stuff that they'll use in the foods. A great experience I've had here would be with the greenhouse, transplanting the plants and even planting them as seeds and seeing them grow. And it's a great opportunity to kind of get a taste of what there is outside of like your normal core academics. It's a lot different and more hands-on than the normal classes you'd have. I plan on going to school to be a vet. I wasn't really sure if that's what I wanted to do or if I wanted to be an egg teacher and now it's, I want to be a vet. We're currently in the animal lab area right now. Um, behind you we have four different pens. We just have four laying chickens right now, laying hens in here. And usually I have my middle schoolers in the morning come out here and collect the eggs. We have just some tilapia right now, and we will eventually fillet them as part of a food science lab. We house our small animals in here as well. In class, the students every day are responsible for cleaning them, taking care of them, feeding, watering, and every week they rotate so they have different experiences. The lessons these students explore in class let them experience life in the agriculture field firsthand. They truly have an opportunity to dig in and get their hands dirty. I would say this program is very beneficial to the kind of kid who doesn't want to sit in an English class all day or a math class all day. We both kind of grew up on farms, so it just kind of felt like home. I mean, he treats us like we're his own kids, really. I'm in large animal science, but it teaches you how to give injections, like in the veins and muscle under the skin. In Turf and Land, we made stuff like chairs. Someone made like a kitchen island. We took motorcycle tires and made them into like planters that you hang from a tree or using recycled materials to reuse them for anything really. The classroom portion is one part of the program and then the FFA is another portion. It's kind of like their second family, you know, that we do a lot together. They spend a lot of time together. Your knowledge that you learn in these classes, you can carry on to an FFA event and use it and compete against other chapters throughout the state. That FFA piece really is the meat and fabric of the egg program. One of the things I strive to look at for all my students is to giving them an opportunity to test drive a future profession. The egg program allows us to do that because we have a lot of employers that are looking to hire our kids. And the school to work program allows kids to get school release time as a junior and senior, to get credit and they're working in the field, they're taking concurrent coursework in the egg classroom. And so it's a win-win. Our students get an experience to try on or test drive a job, but our local employers, our local farmers, get workers. And in doing so, our kids get a rich experience, our employers get what they need, but then some things magical happen. Is we get a kid like Derek Steffes, who's one of our alumni. He just went out and bought his own herd not that long ago. And to me, that's, I think, the big delivery, is for people to look at a program and say, is that successful? And we get kids who go from an experience here to real life. Egg in general has been my life from the day I was born and I couldn't seem to do anything else in my life. I think I took every single egg class that they offered here. It made you a better leader that really helps with everything I do in day in and day out. Daily life, I wake up, I milk cows, feed all the cows, do whatever has to be done maintenance wise throughout the day. Day to day stuff with how you gotta manage a herd and how you gotta take care of breeding and business of paying your bills and it's a day-to-day -day thing that you have to be good at, otherwise you're not going to succeed. More often than not, we sit in a classroom and the kids get a theoretical experience. 
and they have to try to make it relevant to their life today. Egg allows that to happen naturally and organically. And then the reward for us is they go into the industry. We know, we look back and say, we've done our job. Those are really good success stories for us. Probably my favorite part of it is seeing how the kids take ownership of their learning and of their experiences. And I think that's a testament again to the work ethic and the culture of the families that live around here and what we've built here at the school. One of the things I really like to try and push to the students that there's more to farming than just cows and tractors, that there's the greenhouse and landscaping aspect of it or the small animal care, or, you know, growing your own food, buying local. Egg is a great opportunity. I think there's tons of careers out there for egg. Drink more milk. There's really something for everyone in agriculture. Just do it. You will not regret it. Thanks for joining me for this episode of On the Road. As you can see, an agriculture program fits best in New Holstein. But what makes your community unique? And how can those characteristics shine through to shape education? Questions like these are a great place to start.